Hello, history enthusiasts! Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey through the depths of ancient Egypt, focusing on the captivating era known as the Amarna period. Prepare to be transported back in time as we uncover the intriguing secrets of this enigmatic civilization. Picture an age when pharaohs wielded absolute authority. The Amarna period marked a dramatic shift in Egyptian society and religious beliefs, and the story begins during the 18th dynasty in the New Kingdom period, a time when Egypt stood as a formidable empire governed from the traditional hubs of Thebes and Memphis. Then emerged a new pharaoh, Amenhotep IV, a man with grand ambitions beyond maintaining the status quo. Within the initial years of his reign around 1350 BC, Amenhotep embarked on a revolutionary journey by promoting the worship of a novel deity, the Aten or Sun Disk. He initiated the construction of a dedicated temple complex for the Aten at Thebes, signaling a departure from the established state religion led by Ammonius. By the fifth year of his rule, Amenhotep had fully embraced his monotheistic vision, renaming himself Akhenaten, which translates to living spirit of the Aten. From this point forward, the Aten became the solitary god of Egypt. However, Akhenaten's ambitions didn't stop there. In a groundbreaking move during his fifth year, Akhenaten abandoned the old religious centers, establishing a brand new capital city exclusively devoted to the Aten. This city, named Akhetaten or Horizon of the Aten, was situated on the east bank of the Nile in Middle Egypt, near modern-day Amarna. Here, Akhenaten embarked on an ambitious project, constructing temples, palaces, administrative buildings, and residences, birthing a vibrant metropolis from scratch. One of the initial structures erected was the northern palace of Akhenaten and Nefertiti, evidenced by preserved wall paintings. The northern suburb, sprawling northwards, housed worker villages on an immense scale, reflecting the burgeoning population of Amarna during this brief yet transformative period. This radical shift saw the pharaoh create an entirely new capital city to embody his revolutionary religious ideals. In the next segment, we'll delve into the daily life within Akhetaten. Starting at the Northern Palace, we witness where Akhenaten and Nefertiti governed from their primary residence, while the sprawling northern suburb housed workers' communities nearby. Moving south leads us to the central city, though little remains except foundations, this area served as the bustling administrative and religious hub of Amarna. Yet, the rock-cut tombs in the surrounding cliffs offer invaluable insights into Amarna's culture and artistic expressions. One such tomb, belonging to I, Akhenaten's advisor, showcases rare paintings depicting his palace complex, complete with housing units, storage facilities, and a central courtyard adorned with trees. These glimpses into Amarna's architectural marvels provide a vivid picture of the city's grandeur. Akhenaten's elevation of the Aten, symbolized as the sun disk, to the sole god of Egypt heralded an unprecedented departure from traditional polytheism towards a form of monotheistic worship centered solely on the Aten. Temples and shrines dedicated to the Aten dotted Amarna, including a massive temple complex in the heart of the central city. Artistic representations evolved significantly during this period, with elongated figures and stylized features, departing from Egypt's millennia-old realistic artistic conventions. The Amarna artistic style, with its exaggerated depictions and bold experimentation, left an indelible mark on Egypt's artistic landscape, persisting even after Akhenaten's reforms were rolled back. Now, let's unravel the decline of Amarna and its enduring legacy. Following Akhenaten's demise, a power struggle ensued between his successors Smenkar and Tutankhamun, both striving to reverse Akhenaten's religious reforms and restore Egypt to its traditional polytheistic worship. Tutankhamun reinstated Thebes as the capital, dismantling monuments to the Aten and reviving the cult of Ammonius. Yet, remnants of Akhenaten's artistic style lingered, testament to the enduring influence of the Amarna period. As time passed, Amarna gradually fell into obscurity, swallowed by sands that veiled its empty palaces and temples. For centuries, the city's location remained lost until excavations unearthed its ruins in the 1880s. Today, ongoing excavations continue to unveil the mysteries of Akhenaten's capital, showcasing its innovative art, architecture, and the revolutionary religious vision that defined this pivotal yet transient period in ancient Egypt's history. 
Amarna offers a captivating glimpse into a bygone era that continues to inspire awe and intrigue. This has been a journey through the Amarna era of ancient Egypt. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more epic historical adventures, and share this video with your fellow history enthusiasts. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the past.